If you like the tool palettes and want to use them in practice, I recommend that you create your own palette groups and your own palettes. You might do this on a project basis. You can go down here to the tool palettes, click on this button, and choose Customize Palettes. Here you have a list of all the palettes and a list of the palette groups that the palettes are organized into. So for example, let me collapse these existing palette groups, right click at the bottom and say New Group. I'll call this Project A. And now we have a new palette group listed here. It automatically has the, these two palettes. We can add additional palettes by going back to Customize Palettes. I'll right click down here and say New Palette. And you can call this whatever you want. If, it depends on your project and how detailed you want to be. Perhaps I'll call this Wood. It has to have a different name. We'll just call it Wood A. And then once that's created, you have to drag it into the palette group like that. And then that palette will show up in that group. So let me go back to Project A, and now we'll see the Wood A palette. So now if I want to put a material in there, I can go to Scene Unused and create a new wooden material. Then go to Properties. Customize that in some way. Perhaps I'll change its color. And then cut it from this palette and paste it onto wood A.